All right, so here we have today a Lenovo C940, I believe, 14-inch Yoga Windows laptop. I had a Samsung Galaxy Book Ion, and I liked it, but it wasn't quite great. Uh, and I also ended up picking up a Lenovo Chromebook, this guy here, the C630, that I'm recording my audio on. And I just absolutely loved the keyboard. It's a neat box. There's a box in a box. Two boxes in a box. And nice little packaging there. It has a little pull-off sticker. Or not sticker, but a tab. Alright, so here it is. The C940 and this little side piece as soon as the charging brick. Standard uh, Lenovo kind of charging package. Nice little yellow tip. And this guy would be a 65 watt, whereas the Chromebook I have and the Chromebook I got for my son both came to 45 watt. This will be a 65 watt. That's a crazy little shiny box here, right? Very nice packaging. This is not new. I mean, I mean, this is new. This device is new, but I think it came out in 2019. It's a little setup guide. It's a weird little pocket hole there for the guides. Inside here, we have the device itself. I got the iron gray version. I had to uh, special order it because. They didn't sell the iron gray in 4K. You can make a custom model and that would have it, but if you just buy the pre-built one, it's the same price, but if you buy the pre-built one, uh, they only sell you that mica color, which I do not like. I like this iron gray, and it does not appear to be fingerprinting. At least not right away. Standard Lenovo warranty. Look at that. That's a good looking keyboard. There's the fingerprint sensor. Core i7, 10th gen Intel Iris Plus graphics. Uh, the rotating sound bar uh, right there, which uh, the Digital Digest uh, was a huge fan of. This is a Yoga, so it flips all the way around, of course. This is the privacy screen. You can see it is a little switch here to block the camera. Take the sticker off, and you can see it's hard to tell, but there's a little red dot that appears. Camera's open, and now it's closed with the red dot there. And that is a very nice feature. More devices should have such a thing. It is not heavy, it's under three pounds. Actually, let's take a look at the sides. Uh, so, USB A, USB C, another USB C, I believe the Thunderbolt uh, headphone jack. And nothing on this side except a power button that is just about flush. And there's a little lid thing here. So that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and try to power him on. Might need power. Alright, now we're powering on. Uh, it does have 16 gigs of RAM, which was a big selling point for me. And it should be a touchscreen, yes. And uh, also, around back here, is their little pin guy. You can see, so I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. If you see, it's about the same size as this pin. It's a little bit longer and a little bit thicker. And it obviously has this weird little chunk up here. But, I mean, it should be pretty common uh, for you if you're used to an S Pen. And let's see if it does do that one finger lift, sorta. It gets caught up towards the end there, but I could not give a shit less about that. 
Uh, so I do like the keyboard. I'm a big fan of Lenovo keyboards, apparently. I didn't realize this until I got this Chromebook, but uh, now I have this one, and I'm a big fan of this one. I just got my son the Lenovo Chromebook 3, and I also like its keyboard. So this hopefully will be the best of the bunch. So this is a 14-inch screen. Uh, when I had the Samsung Galaxy Book Ion, it was 15 inches, and it tried to crowbar a number pad in there and that caused the keys to get cramped and off center and I did not like it. So at uh, 14 and 13 inches is a little small for me so 14 inches is pretty great and this is a 4k screen because I love a gorgeous screen. Trackpad seems nice and perfect. Really don't see any issues there. Yeah I'm digging the keyboard so here's the fingerprint sensor. Let's see if we can get this see how fast it is. That was the one thing great about the Samsung. Uh, it was really good at uh, setting up the fingerprint. So let me touch it. I mean, the fingerprint was fast and reliable. All right, so let's just try another angle. Let's so do the side pieces here. Uh, and we'll create a pin. Uh, I don't want my files backed up at OneDrive. Uh, I'll just do the try for free. I don't want the I don't want Cortana. All right, now we're just going through the standard initial setup process. Uh, I posted previously on my page about should I take these things off or keep them. I did not want this one. This one's too big, so we're just going to take it right off. And it didn't leave any residue, so that's pretty good. Do you all normally keep these on or do you take these off? I'm going to leave them on for now, but I might take them off in the future. Uh, this is a stupid thing, but I really like the bat home and end keys, even though I don't even know how to use these, but the fact that they I just like the look better for them being big like that. Oh, that was loud. All right, so now we're here. Uh, this is the, it just copied over my screen from my last one. Let's go to uh, personalize. And yeah, here we go. We can use the Lenovo wallpaper. There you go, there's that gorgeous Lenovo wallpaper from that gorgeous Lenovo screen. I'm gonna go through here, I'm gonna have to uninstall this Mac we should, and just, I'll just set some things up and we'll bring it, we'll come back, and once I get a little more familiar, so I'm not just aimlessly bumping around in here, and then we'll we'll go over the device some more. All right, so I've had this, so it's now June 15th, so I've had this for a couple days. Uh, here's a problem with making YouTube videos on things that you're actually owning for yourself. Uh, I don't want to, I didn't want to change a bunch of shit on this because I hadn't filmed it yet. Because I really want to give an overview of like how this stuff works. So like I have a bunch of, there's a bunch of shit on here that you probably don't want. There's access, alarm clock, Alexa, calculator, calendar, camera, candy crush friends. I don't, obviously don't want that and I can uninstall it just fine. Uh, there's Chrome. I did install Chrome. Uh, I don't know what. Connect is Dolby Atmos speaker system. That's different settings. Farm Hero Saga. I don't want that. I guess before I do that, I should look at storage. All right, so you can see this should be a terabyte. So 953 gigabytes are free. 48 gigs are used. Look at Task Manager and go to more details and performance. You can see uh, on memory, I have nine gigs available, six gigs in use. So uh, two of two slots used and a total of 16 gig. Oh, here it says 16 gigs. All right, so I got a lot of storage and a lot of memory, uh, but I still want to clean up and get rid of dumb shit I don't want. Fort Media, I don't know what that is. I don't know what this is. I'll have to figure out what that is and look into it later. Uh, Excel's installed. Groove Music is Microsoft's built-in music player. I don't think I need that either. You can uninstall it, that's nice. The only music I'm going to use is Spotify or YouTube Music. If I need to play a file locally, I'll probably install VLC. There is pen settings. There's Lenovo Vantage and Lenovo Utility. We'll go over those in a little bit. So here's what we want to see. McAfee, we don't want this dumb shit. You get that pop-up constantly. Uh, it's super annoying. I don't know who ever... I guess some people do, but... I'm not looking for that. I will be using Windows Defender and probably Malware Bytes in combination. I have used this a little bit and the screen is gorgeous, so I'm very glad I purchased it and I love the keyboard. So 
Uh, I do like Lenovo keyboards from my Lenovo Chromebook, and I bought my son a Lenovo Chromebook. And again, I got too many Mac notifications. Alright, so I got restarted to uninstall it. Alright, so we rebooted without issue. The fingerprint sensor is pretty quick. Uh, Alright, so we're back to where we were. Microsoft Edge is installed, of course. Microsoft offers tools. Microsoft Solitaire. Uh, as much as it pains me to remove that, I know I'm never actually going to play it. Mixed Reality Portal. I'm not going to use that. Mobile Plans. I don't know what that is. I'm going to uninstall it because I'm not going to put LTE on this laptop. It's not capable of it. Movies and TV is a video player. I'll leave that on temporarily. I might take it off. OneDrive and OneNote, Outlook, we'll leave all those. Paint 3D, I'll leave. I can't imagine I'll actually use it. People, Photos, PowerPoint, Publisher. Realtek Audio Console. Skype. Snip and Sketch, I'm a huge fan of. Uh, I use this on my videos all the time. Anytime I have a... I'm going to pin this to the task. Actually, I'm not going to... I already have it pinned to the taskbar, I guess, right here. Uh, but... I think I can program the button on here to do that, and I may change to that. Uh, we'll cover that later, though. But that's a great tool. Spotify, I'm going to use. Sticky Notes, uh, I can't imagine I'll use. So I'm going to uninstall that. Thunderbolt Control Center, I don't know what that is. I'll leave it for now. Tips, I'll leave for now. Video Editor, I probably won't use, but I'll leave it. Uh, voice Recorder, I will use. I uh, may replace it with something else, but for now we'll try it out. Weather is the, I guess, Microsoft Weather app, but it's pretty good so far. And then Windows Accessories, Windows Administrator Tools, Windows Ease of Use, PowerShell, Security, Windows System Word, Xbox Console Companion, Xbox Game Bar, and your phone. So most of that shit I'm going to use anyhow. And I'll pop up to update virus protection. Alright, so we updated the virus protection. So let's take a look at these Lenovo apps. I pinned one here. Lenovo Vantage. So it's kind of like notes, I guess, for you, like like a like a help type app, and you can get your you can check for system updates, which is pretty good. I mean, you can do that through Windows updates as well, but this may update any kind of random uh, Lenovo shit. All right, and it seems to be set to automatically apply these. Uh, you can uh, tuto, a tutorial to get your latest drivers. It tells you your model number up here. Uh, over here you can see lots of stuff. You can see my device. So it gives you all your status of your parts. I mean, this is a decent little app. Uh, some more experienced users may not need it, but it's not bad, right? You can do even a hardware scan. I don't know what... This is just kind of like taking advantage of the built-in Windows tools, I believe, and just making them prettier. That's alright. There's also a Lenovo utility, but like it just makes this thing pop up and I don't know what it does and it goes away so <laughs> I don't know what it actually does uh, more importantly let's look at the Lenovo pin settings so this I like a lot so it shows your pin right here and there are two buttons on the pin I don't know if you can see that just trust me there's two buttons on this pin here and now you can make it where one of the buttons does stuff so I don't know what barrel button means but I can change this to be a right click Boom. And you can change the battery there and the bottom button you can do I don't know what erase does so let's change this to screen snipping alright so now we're going to close this so now let's just say I want to open the windows store I'm going to hit the first button that should open the screen snipping maybe doesn't appear to be there we go it does sort of work. Alright, not very well. Let's try it again. So, I don't know. That doesn't really work. I was hoping it would just open up this menu where I could hit new, but we'll see. Let me try it again. So I hit the button and then touch the screen to make it come on. And then you can just choose what's this do. Oh, that takes a full screen. I see. Okay, well that's not bad then. Maybe I'll keep that. So you hit this button, touch the screen, 
And then you have your option of these. Like, I don't know what this is. It just takes a full screenshot. Uh, so I guess that's alright. Like, in theory, if I saw something I wanted to send to, like, Tony or somebody, I would hit this button, touch it, hit here. I could take a look and, like, show Tony that uh, Warrior is here. And then share that with him. Uh, you know, through one of these features or just copy it. Like, this will copy it to my clipboard and I could just paste it into an email or something like that. So I do like that. Uh, let's see if... Alright, so I don't know how the right click even works. Alright, so I'll take it back. I'm not going to use any of those features. Uh, Alright, well for now, oh, I guess we'll do Geekbench. Alright, nobody wants to see what the Geekbench scores are. Yeah, basically I'm not going to use this pen except for writing on the screen. If I take a screenshot, so it's easier than using my finger. Which is about the same way I use my Note 10 Plus. I guess that's a good question. Will the Note pen work? It does not. Alright, so let's just run a benchmark. So the fans are kicking a little bit, and it's very hard to hear. I don't know if he, my microphone is uh, up there. <laughs> so I don't know if they'll hear the, mic the fans from here. And like, I'm just being very quiet right now, so I hear it. But if I was in the middle of doing stuff, I don't think I would notice it. All right, so 1267 single core, 4291 multi-core. Uh, yeah, I don't know what any of this shit means really, but. I tested my Samsung. I'll see if I can maybe pop that screenshot up here and see that in the video. And I also tested my Lenovo, and obviously that's not going to come close to it, but... Alright. Uh, so that's our first little overlook overview. I'll see if I can think of anything else to add on here. If not, I'll be making separate videos about gaming. Uh, I got some PDP controllers to try out on here. And this is going to be my daily driver laptop. Not my work laptop, but my daily driver personal laptop. So we're going to try out a bunch of shit on here and we'll just have updates throughout any video I have that's on a Windows based platform will probably be on this device. So uh, thanks for checking me out. If you have any questions, just let me know and then we'll follow up accordingly. And uh, while you're here, why not subscribe? I got a lot of cool shit. I cuss. I say uh, funny stuff. I make fun of people. Uh, I tell Tony he sucks. Come on. Give me a sub. Alright. Thanks. <laughs>